What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Chat Shack. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about um, DC, basically, in general. We're not going to be specifically talking about Batman vs Superman because uh, the other day, a picture of the Joker, the new Joker, Jared Leto's Joker, has been released. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll put it in the video. But, um, yeah, basically, okay, we'll start with the Batman vs Superman stuff because of uh, the other week I did a uh, review of the Batman vs Superman trailer that they released, the HD version. There was a leaked version that wasn't very good quality, but they mm. released a HD version like after because they kind of had to. Uh, what do you, what was your thoughts on the trailer? I th I think it's a very good trailer, but um, the thing is I wasn't a big fan of Man Steel, mm. so you know I'm I'm being careful kind of on. What what like if I think it's going to be a good movie or not? Uh, I think I'm really excited about it because I liked Man of Steel. I thought it was really good. I mean, I think there are a few bits that are a bit maybe implausible, like yeah. the whole destruction of the city. But I, I think they're going to address that in this because Superman kind of falls out with the public, as you can see in the trailer. And I think mm. that's what's like makes Batman and Superman have uh, altercations and stuff, which I think is a good thing. Yeah, I think that's a good oh, way oh, yeah. to. It, it. it will be interesting to see, obviously, Batman and Superman fight on it seems, a big screen. Everyone's been comparing um, Batman vs. Superman to um, the Dark Knight Returns cartoon yeah, film. Yeah, great film. Uh, but basically in that one, Batman is kind of an enemy of the government. Yeah. And ba and Superman's kind of working for working, the government. Yeah. But in this one, it's kind of different. It's like Batman's the enemy and... I mean, Superman's the enemy yeah. and Batman is trying to... I don't know. I think. Yeah. I don't. I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but that's. You, it that's it the seems gist, like Batman's yeah. on the side of the of civilization, and Superman. Yeah. Is a get. Is, you know. But yeah. People don't like him. That's gonna. That, I think it's going to be good. What did you think of Ben Affleck? Like the well, obviously you don't. Yeah, you haven't seen him really. The, the, I've seen the bat suit. The bat suit does look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I will say that. Yeah. Um, but. Again with the voice, I wasn't too sure. First time I heard it, I would. I thought it I was. Don't, I awful. don't think that's going to be the voice of Batman. No, not all the time. No, that's, gonna, no, that's only yeah. going to be when he's in his metal yeah. suit fighting Superman. It, it just, I think it's cool. It seemed to uh, for me. It seemed a bit too robotic and a bit too much like Jigsaw. And um, but they still have time to address that. Maybe that's yeah, not the yeah. I think when it comes out in the cinema, maybe it will sound yeah. Which, which is kind of why I'm, I'm trying to rest kind of my judgment on the film yeah. until I see it. That's the thing. But I'm anyway, not too optimistic. They, they did an IMAX screening in some places, an IMAX event, which was uh, basically at the end of the trailer that they released online, it's basically a shot, like a few shots of Batman and Superman running towards each other about to fight and then it cuts. Yeah. So that's what basically everyone else missed. But um, they released two uh, posters, which is one of Batman. You can't really see his eyes, but it's like the Superman logo. And then the other one's a picture of Superman with the Batman logo. And they're kind of like... I think they're like they're going with like a propaganda sort of thing. Yeah. Like, um, it's like it, it's kind of like reminds me of like World War Two propaganda yeah. stuff. It's I think it's really cool see, promotional. See the stuff. other the other thing I wasn't too keen on the blue eyes that Batman has. I think that's cool. No. I think they're going. Uh, they're leaving. I think Nolan's I, yeah, Batman was yeah, amazing. They need to leave that. But they're leaving that yeah. side and they're going more comic. Yeah, book, I, which I, is I respect the right, that. Which is the right uh, way to go. Mm. Uh, the new Bat suit. Looks I think great. it looks amazing. It I think look it looks great. better than the Dark Knight yeah, I would version. That. But I don't I don't I don't think the Dark Knight version I don't think that Batman suit would, would have worked, worked in no. the Dark Knight one. The armor kind of works for the realistic feel that they're going for. But this one's obviously Zack Snyder, so Yeah. Yeah. Um so it's a bit more unrealistic and it's gonna be more comic book like. Yeah. Um but yeah, now to the Joker. They released the image of Jared Leto and First, first time I saw the picture, I was like, he has the eyes. He has yeah, the Joker yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, Everyone, Obviously, everyone's going to compare him to Heath Ledger and stuff like that. But, I mean, if when you look Actually, at him... Actually, I, I don't think... I don't, well, I don't know. What, I, mean, I think people will. When, it's inevitable. Yeah, but then again, when Heath Ledger did the Joker, no one really compared him to Jack Nicholson that much. Yeah, but it's completely different. It was like, it's... 
yeah, it's just completely different. Yeah, yeah. I, I, time. I'm, I'm, this is because this, yeah, this is more recent. Yeah, it's more recent to the film. I'm not going to go into the film thinking that's he. That's how I picture the joke. Because that's how it needs to be. I'm going to yeah. have a very open mind about how Ger- uh, Jared Leto plays the Joker. But here are some of the things. He's got classic green hair. Great. Yeah. It's not long, which I think is a good thing because that mm. would have been too similar. See, I like I liked the kind of long hair. Yeah, but um, if they gave him long hair, that would be. Basic, it'd be too similar it, to it didn't need the to be the like, kind of strawberry long hair that Ledger had but mm. it could have been like slicked back quite but menacing he's got the green hair he's got yeah. the purple gloves purple glove on one hand he's yeah. got these like silver teeth which yeah. which I think this is more of like a um, like a kind of more it's a definitely more physical joker so yeah. he can fight per- people more which means he's a bit more intimidating but I think it, it's well, him, he's more uh, like yeah. tough because he's been. In, I think he's he's in Arkham Asylum when it starts. Yeah, Suicide Squad. But I think it just. I just think he looks it, really good. Uh, the first time I saw it, I, I was definitely like, "That is Zack Snyder's." You could see that Zack Snyder's. Well, no, version. it's David. It's David Ayer who's doing well, the Suicide Squad. But I reckon yeah, no, but Zack Snyder's you know, probably had an input. Yeah, but I was gonna say David Ayer. Aya, I don't know how you pronounce it, is doing the Suicide Squad film. Because it's very comic book-like. With, yeah, but I think know. that's good. I mean, I know DC are going for a more realistic tone to Marvel, but they're still gonna, it's still going to be comic book-like yeah. and stuff, and it's going to be dark and cool. Yeah. What do you think of the tattoos, though? I like them. I, I like think them? they're quite cool, yeah. Because some uh, people... It, it, it kind of modernises the Joker a little bit more. Well, some people on social media aren't don't like it very much, and I agree that they shouldn't have. I don't think they should have shown this as the first picture. No, they maybe not. should have shown him maybe like in a dark, badly yeah, lit, yeah, yeah, and like in a suit. Yeah, but then that's probably again copying what Nolan did because that's exactly what Nolan did with his posters and his promotion. Yeah, but of the Joker. I don't. No, you could easily like you could have made it. You could have given like a teaser yeah. of how he would look. But they've just gone straight for it and shown him like this. I don't think the tattoos are going to be a big thing in the film. I no, because I gonna don't be... think he's going to be shirtless in the film. <laughs> well, no, well, he, I think be. he might be in the asylum parts. Yeah. But obviously he's like going to break out of yeah. some like somehow or something. Mm. Um, I, I think it'll be interesting to see if the Joker is going to be in Batman vs Superman. But, I mean, he's got... I don't. I don't think he might be. He like, might maybe be a post credit scene or something. Yeah, but I'm not it'll sure. be interesting. Um, what do you think? I think that the, the Tattoos are good. I like them, but I'm not... The only one I wasn't sure about was the one, the damaged one, written on his <laughs> yeah, head. Yeah, I didn't see that at first, and yeah. Didn't... But, I mean, he's got the eyes, he's got he's got the look, he looks crazy. Yeah. Jared Leto's going to be great. I have I no yeah, doubt love, he's going to be a good joker. I love Jared Leto. But, I told you this earlier, and this I'm going to explain. Basically, a few people on YouTube might have already said this, So, um, but there is... It looks like there's a bird... Mm. On his right arm, yeah. Mm. Now, what I think is, I've read loads of like theories online about um, like what what the Joker's story is, yeah, and what the Batman story is with the Joker. And I've heard that like uh, the Joker has killed the old Robin, and I reckon that tattoo on his arm is a Robin. And I, I, I have a feeling like this is a Joker who like tattoos people who he's killed on himself. Possibly. And I reckon he's already killed the Robin, and that's why Batman and the Joker, that's that's the conflict already. That's why they don't like each other. Yeah, that's the conflict already. <laughs> they didn't like each and other I in think, the first place. <laughs> I think that's going to set up for a standalone Batman film, a Red Hood, under the Red Hood yeah, remake, possibly like possibly. a live action one. It, it, yeah. it, it's, it's very interesting to see where they're going to go with these characters. Yeah, you know, because as we've said repeatedly in this video, you need to leave the Nolan. Yeah, I think they're doing that. Batman alone. They're going for a comic book know. feel. They're going for a more fun. Yeah, maybe less realistic, but still dark kind of tone. I don't and think they should go too dark though, like insanely dark. Know. As like obviously, what Nolan did was ridiculously I think, dark. I think you can. I think Jared Leto is going to be really. He's going to be one of those characters who's funny, but not in a. Not in a silly way. No, not in like a way where in a sadistic. Not in a way where you think you see him and you're like, oh, uh-huh. he's uh, yeah, he's not really a good baddie. <laughs> yeah, but you know he's gonna be he's gonna be a sinister sinister character, and I think he's gonna be really good. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I'm really I'm really excited about Suicide Squad. I'm excited about Suicide that. Squad, yeah. I'm excited about Batman vs Superman a lot because of the trailer. Mm. There's going to be another trailer in the next few months, yeah. maybe showing more. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think yeah, I'm, I'm I ex- think I am excited. I've said it before. I think DC are, are going to overtake Marvel. Next I, year. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they do. In fairness, because I've I, heard yeah. a lot of mixed things about Avengers two. I yeah, because I've been very very disappointed with the movies running up to Avengers two. Yeah, so no, I, you know. I mean, everyone likes Winter Soldier, but I wasn't a huge fan. It was alright. Uh, it was okay, but I think I think DC are gonna are gonna like start well, overtaking. It, as, as I said, it all as de- much as it, Marvel fans yeah. like will not admit it. Batman it, yeah. versus Superman does look cool. It all depends on Batman versus Superman because, as yeah. I've said, I was not a fan of Man. If of it's Steel. a flop, DC aren't. Oh, it's it's going to be bad. They, they've got the, the thing. The thing that DC have now, though, they've got the cast mm. and they've got the characters. They do. Yeah. All they need now is good script writers, mm. couple of really good directors. Yep. To shoot the films, and they'll take over Marvel. Yeah. But uh, that is the new Joker. Jared Leto's new Joker. I think it's awesome. Max thinks it's pretty cool. Uh, what do you yeah. think? Post in the comments below. What do you think of the Batman vs Superman trailer? What do you think about the Joker and Suicide Squad in general? And what do you think about the DC Marvel debate? What who do you think's in front, or who do you think will be well, in front? Marvel in next front year. at the moment. Yeah, but, but who do you yeah. think will be in front next year? But um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, like and subscribe, and peace out.